We've taken a boat ride to St. Martin's today and what happens is you pick up your boat about 10 o'clock from the main harbour and then you're dropped off and you have a choice of return boats. So it's sort of basically lunchtime, mid-afternoon, late afternoon going back. But it's a lovely island, lovely and peaceful and lots of wild flowers. We enjoyed taking a leisurely stroll around the island and there's a nice little sandy lane we were walking along. And there's lots and lots of marron grass everywhere, all lovely and soft. And then we came across these cattle. They had probably escaped from somewhere, but they were rather handsome. Walking along is nice, you just see little things. You see nice little plants, little heathers, blackberries, lovely little flowers. And constantly the horizon is changing. And you can imagine this in the winter, it would probably look totally different and be far colder and a more hostile environment. But in the summertime, it's lovely and warm and very pleasant indeed, a nice climate. It was just enjoyable watching and wandering around. There were a few, the odd cafe, pub, a hotel, a couple of little eateries. So there is plenty there. Flower growing is very big on St. Martin's and they hedge all the fields to protect the flowers. And here's an example, they're actually growing potatoes in this one. But it has a long history of flower growing and in one of the little wooden huts there's a very nice display of Victorian times and growing flowers. And here's one of the more distant sweeping views. Courgettes growing here. This is the ambulance station. This is the funny thing about the Isles of Scilly. You're suddenly hit. Things are quite different. I mean, there's probably a tractor or something similar as the ambulance in there. But um, it's, I'm sure it's very effective. This is the upper end of the island and this is the day mark. This is a, like an early form of lighthouse. It used to be painted white, but there was then a nasty shipping disaster uh, when it was mistaken for being another lighthouse. So they put the red bands around it. And in the church graveyard, there's this little gravestone telling the story about a young West African boy who was buried there and they explain how they put the red stripes on to avoid any confusion with St. Agnes Lighthouse. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that one, and thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.